Brother Stogie, we have been doing this for almost three long years. Can you believe that? Just wanted to take some time out today before we get started with the show and wish you a very happy birthday. Love you. I'm glad to call you my brother. And I have a few more surprises for you coming up right after this. Stay tuned. Brother Stogie, you son of a... What? That's not what we're doing? Brother Stogie, it's a pleasure to know you, man. The world needs more dudes like you. Happy birthday. Later. Hi, Kendall. I just wanted to take a few moments to say happy birthday. I hope you're having a great day, knowing that you love and smoking something amazing. Cheers to you, my friend. Happy, happy birthday to Brother Stogie. I hope you have a fantastic day, fantastic week, and look, take the whole month, all right? Brother Stogie. Now, I know from personal experience not to call you by your government name, but on behalf of the Burn Down Podcast, we want to wish you a really awesome birthday. Hope it's celebrated with good family, friends, and obviously good cigars. Cheers. What's up, Brother Stogie? Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Love you, man. It's always a pleasure hanging out and talking with you. You're an awesome guy, and uh, I hope it's an amazing day. So, peace, man. Hey Kendall, happy birthday buddy. Hope your day is filled with doing whatever it is that you want to do today. Whether you're doing home improvement projects, spending the day barbecuing, going shooting, I don't know. Uh, excuse me, I gotta go do some black guy stuff. Whatever it is you want to do, man. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, happy birthday buddy. Love ya. Talk to you later. Brother Stogie, happy birthday, man. I would call you by your government name, but we both know that I'm not allowed to do that. But enjoy some good cigars. Happy birthday, and uh, welcome to being older. <laughs> Love you, brother. See ya. Refrigerators, freezers, humidors. Oh, my. Frosters. Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> New Air does it all, doesn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> they, do, they do a room purifier. We'll be even better off. You, you know what we, we need is one of their fans for the summer that shoots out the cold air and everything to keep the stogie den nice and cool. And we need that, uh, that travel cooler Ooh, for camping. Yes, that when it has a freezer department nice. and a cooling section on yes. it. Yes. Bro, it has a bad ass cooler. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Cigar Tang here. Once again, my hey. good friend. That was his idea. Yeah. <laughs> That was his idea. That was the most English thing he has done on the Cigar Titan channel in a very long time. <laughs> long time, my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Titan fam, what's going on? Brother Stogie, we have got another piece of New Air equipment sitting here right now. Big shout out to New Air. Yes, big shout out. Okay, <laughs> I guess we'll get into it. So that was a very abrupt intro. <laughs> I think Brother Stogie felt that, that that first part segment was starting to come off the rails a little bit. <laughs> In the mail. <laughs> Improv. Let's to, to go. control. Do the music. Hurry up. So Brother Stogie, big shout out to New Air. They were, okay. <laughs> Get it out of your system. <laughs> Y'all heard that? My bad. New Air was thinking about us. Yes. And they reached out to you and said what? They are turning 20, 20 year anniversary for New Air. Yeah, cheers to New Air. You know what I'm saying? Cheers to y'all, yes. Cheers, cheers, drink her. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm -hmm. There you go. So he said, we want Scar Tiger to be a part of this exclusive anniversary series 100 can count refrigerator. Yes, sir. 100 cans, have mercy. Now, before we get into this beautiful 100 can fridge sitting right here between us, Uh huh. Just want to let people know the reason we've got the door open a little bit is because when the door is not open, you get that nice glare of the camera and everything else. You in see there. our business <laughs> in the, the studio. Business. You can see our business. So we got it cracked open just a little bit so you guys don't have to look at the camera. You know what I'm saying? Mind, mind your business. <laughs> so, Brother Stogie. Yes. Jasmine Filarino. Yes. Shout out, out to, to you. you. Beautiful lady. That's right. We love and you. said that she wanted to recognize the Cigar Titans as what? 
As we're top ambassadors of New Air. Yeah, hey, we I, appreciate it. We, we didn't even know. We had no idea. But we appreciate it because our Titan fam enjoys. We told, hey, we told y'all, so if you've been watching this video, we do the cigar community, period. Right. Not just cigar reviews, not just reviewing cigars, not just smoking cigars. Most of the time we do smoke cigars. But we will make sure y'all straight. So if you need a freezer, a humidor, a humidor especially, a fridge, a froster, we got you. We always got our coupon codes in the description down below so you get a nice little knick neck off of it. Right. But look out for y'all. We won't try to be sexy. Ain't this shit sexy? This is right. sexy. That's right. Now, there are tons of uses for this, obviously. Yes. But one of those uses, like you were saying, is, or one of these things that it is, should not be used for, is a humidor. Right. Tell them why. Because it's not a humidor. Why not? Because it's a hundred can beer fridge or a hundred can <laughs> fridge. <laughs> so what happens? Because we got we got folks that's gonna watch this video. What happens if you put cigars in this one hundred can count anniversary series refrigerator? They're gonna be very cold. Yes, but not very well humidified. No, there's no air circulating. You only have cold air being brought into this refrigerator. That's to keep your beverages cold. Right. There's no humidity in there. All the humidity's been sucked out for a reason. Do not put your cigars in here. <laughs> now, if you have an old refrigerator and for some reason it blowed out. 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 It blew out. It Blew. don't work yeah, no more. You <laughs> and you don't have any air circling in there. Put a humidity pack in there. Repurpose refrigerator. Sure. But if you got cold air blown in here like this brand new refrigerator right here, do not put your cigars in this fridge. So, Brother Stogie. Yes. Typically speaking, where would you want to keep a hundred can fridge in the house? Your man cave. Your man cave, right. Or your woman cave. Or your woman cave, sure. Or your man woman cave. Yeah, if you live with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> or your studio, like this. Um, or if you have like one of those built-in, um, Islands outside right. with your grill and there you, go. you know your hibachi thing, you want to do a little insert to put that in there, this will fit. You could do that. Got your man cave room, like I'm building at the house, and yep. we're gonna chill in, watch some movies, play some video games. This is going in there. Nice right. little stand like this. So we hey, we finish Call of Duty, grab a brewski. Right. Or you can gonna go to the garage before we go, grab a brewski. 100 percent so now, like we've said with our other fridges that we've done in the past, we did a mini fridge, the yes. 60 can mini fridge. We did the beer froster. That was amazing. I, that that shit. This, still. we got these out of the beer froster. Mm. And these are cold. And if you never had a piping cold Bruce, Yeah, sure. Brewski. Br Brewski? There you go. Amazing. I can't put this down so cold. Yeah, it is, it's really delicious. So much better. Oh, man. But if you are going to be considering keeping this outside, maybe next to your grill or something like that, again, we would highly recommend you only do that in certain climates or where you have more control over the temperature. Because if you're going to have this out and you have extreme heat, like we do in California, Arizona, Nevada, or you live somewhere where there's extreme cold, yes. you know, this may put extra stress on the motor for the unit, which could eventually cause some issues. Yes. So Brother Stogie, tell us a little bit about the unit that we got here today. So this unit right here is a storage capacity 2.4 cubic foot. Yes. Can capacity 100 cans. It's a 95 watt fridge. Um, the noise level, low voltage. 39 decibels. So Very low, very quiet. You can hear it. You can hear it. So if the TV is off, radio is off, you'll be able to hear the fridge. So not if you're right up next to it, sure. Right, I agree. Um, we say 100 can. So we wanna make sure that everybody was trying to be all technical and shit. And he's like, I'm gonna get this 100 can refrigerator. And if it doesn't fit 100 beverages in there, I'm gonna right. be upset. So what we did, we did a little picture for the anniversary series on the New Air Web's um, Instagram. We put a slew of beverages in here. We put cans. There there was a slew. There was a slew. We yep. put beverages, cans, bottles. 
all in there. Yes. So you put bottles and cans, you're not gonna get 100 cans out of there. If you guys wanna see what this unit looks like when it's filled up to capacity, what Brother Stogie's talking about, go on to Instagram at New Air USA. Am mm -hmm. I saying that right? Yeah, New mm -hmm. Air USA on their Instagram. And you can find the picture of me and Brother Stogie with the 100 can fridge filled up to capacity. Yes. You'll find all the slews that we were able to fit inside this unit in that picture on their on their Instagram page. I agree. Slews. Right? I like that. So inside, to control the temperature, you have a nice little knob that's in there. Goes from zero to five to keep it nice and cool and chill. So the knob is actually gonna be right down here. Yes. And we'll uh, probably be running over some uh, B-roll footage of the unit here, so you guys can get a closer look at that. So, Brother Stogie. Yeah. I have a question for you. What's up, bro? What are the dimensions on this 100 can new air fridge? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the instruction manual nor on the website, but as you can tell, it's a pretty good size um, contraption right here. I'd say it's probably about two and a half feet tall. Uh-huh. About, let me see. One ruler, about a foot and a half wide. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? The depth, the depth is about a foot and a half. Now so we could go get a tape measure and do we that. We could, but we're not. We're, we're cigar titans, we're, we're not gonna do cigar that. Cigar titans, dimensions nah. off the top of our head. Nah. But okay. the good thing about this, so you got what? One, two, three, you got three shelves, and you got one light basket so the cans don't fall out of the front. Yes. Which is real cool. So the light that's in here, of course, is our aperture light that we use to highlight. Look at you, you know, aperture light. Right, getting off my man, you know, getting my off man. fancy and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so our, our aperture light that we use to kind of highlight our items that we review for you guys. So that's what's nice and lit up. But the light that's in there that comes with comes with comes with the unit, it's not that bad. Right. Not that bright, but not that bad. It's actually better than the unit. Uh, that we had, I think the light that was in the 60 can, I think. Was there a light in the 60 can? No, I was thinking the humidor. Okay. The 250 count humidor. I don't think the 60 can had a light. Yeah, the 60 can didn't have a light, but the 250 count humidor light that we had in there, not very bright. It wasn't bright at all. This but, is a little bit brighter than that. So it, ha it has slots that you can that you can adjust the shelves in case you want to put your shock tops or your still out twas up in there. Still out You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my, my man wanted to put some Coca-Cola at the bottom. You know what right. I'm saying? A little Diet bit. Coke. Diet Coke. Or that Coke Zero crap. Whatever. A little, <laughs> little ginger ale, some shock tops at the top. So you can rearrange your fridge however you want to, really. Um, right. The temperature range is 37 degrees Fahrenheit to, I believe, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. But we want at 37. We want our shit nice and cold. Chilly. You know, nice and cold. When the Chilly. boys come over, got them a brewski, nice and cold, ready to go. Inside the instruction manual, it says make sure you allow two or three hours to allow your refrigerator unit to get nice and cold to reach its temperature. So... Don't just go in there, turn it on, stuff all your shit in there, and expect it to be cold right away. It's yeah. not gonna happen. No. It's not that kind of unit. No, not that kind of unit. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, this was not a complicated thing. It's a beautiful unit. Mm -hmm. You guys know we're huge, huge fans and huge supporters of New Air. So, go to their website, check out their products, tell them the Cigar Titan sent you, and we yes. actually have a discount code for them down below, down in the comments. So well, it's not in the comments, but it's in the description. In the description. Next to the comments. Next to the comments, because the comments is below the description. Yes, all on YouTube. That's right. So, hope you all enjoyed that little nice quick review for y'all for the Anniversary Series 100 Can Count Humidor. Thank you, New Air. We appreciate you. Jasmine, Honor. shout out to y'all for taking care of our cigar family and all their, all their needs. We look forward to what New Air has coming in the future. Yeah, we do. And we hope that we can continue to be a part of that. Um, so if you enjoy our random ass reviews, um, please subscribe. We got we got some some fire coming. Yeah, we do. We got some real nice videos coming up next week. Um, got some orders in for some cigars. Yep. Uh, we will be retouching with Divine Leap Tobacco Company uh, real soon in the future. So please stay tuned. Uh, if you want to see that, give us a like. Strike the like. The one that's that color. Okay? <laughs> Hit that bell so you get new notifications every time it's Garden Titans post a new video for y'all. Until next time. Did you say hit the bell? I did. The bell. <laughs> <laughs> like always, y'all. Live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's chill, baby. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>